Hello chiropractic family, it's Caitlin, and for those of you who don't know me, you may have seen me kind of running around the office. I do a little bit of everything, but my main thing here is the marketing for the clinic. So I just want to share with you guys a little bit about my productivity tip uh, to kind of wrap up this month. Um, these tips have just been awesome. I know I've been learning a lot, so I hope you guys have as well. If you missed one, go back to our YouTube channel. I have them all posted there. You can check them out. They include anything from three minute success tips to how to eat a frog that was a fun one so the one I want to share with you today is um, something that I have been using for a while now um, and it comes from it's a concept that comes from the book called the one thing and in it uh, the author talks about just how we can be really maximizing our time and I mean, who wouldn't want more time, right? We all want to add more hours to our day in order to get stuff done. Yeah. Um, but he really focuses on how we can hone in on being more productive. And one of the concepts that he talks about is a concept called time blocking. And what this is, I mean, how many of you have been there where you, um, before you know it, your schedule's full, you have all this stuff going on and you don't have time to go to the grocery store or you all of a sudden don't have time to work out or meal prep or do these things that we might know that we need to do in order to stay healthy or um, just those simple things of like going out on a date with our spouse or just going in to the park with our kids. It's so easy for things, other things to crowd out our schedule. And so time blocking is essentially going in and putting your big rocks on your calendar first. And what that looks like for me is I, um, I use a Google Calendar and so I'll go in and I have a special calendar created for kind of like my ideal week or um, what what an ideal schedule will look like. And so I have time blocked out on there to go work out. I have time blocked out to spend time with friends and family members and time blocked out to, um, to read or to uh, do meal prep. Those things that I've found that I need in my life in order to have a healthy mental attitude. <laughs> and so then what I do is I schedule around those things. Um, so if something pops up that you know needs to find space on my schedule, I'll offer a time that I have available for that. So if a friend wants to meet, I offer a time that I have available to meet with a friend. Or if I need to go and um, somebody wants to work out, I offer one of those times that I already have in place to work out. Is it perfect? No. Do I always follow that? No. But it gives me a framework and a guideline to always be coming back to. And if I do end up having to schedule something in one of those places that I originally wanted to do something else, I know that I just need to move that someplace um, else in my week. And so I'm able to always find time for those things. Um, again, in a perfect world. So, <laughs> but it's just, it's been so helpful and I hope that that might help some of you. Um, it was a process getting it to getting my schedule to look like that um, but just start simple start by identifying what those big rocks are in your life what those things are that you really need in order to be successful in your day and get those on your calendar uh, and then go from there so if you guys love this idea give me a thumbs up um, if you like really love it and are ready to implement it you can go ahead and throw a heart in there if you're one of those people who's like yeah right Caitlin like my schedule is just crazy you can even throw in a haha -ha emoji but share with me what you guys your thoughts are and um, we will see you guys in the office thanks